your best joke and gradually decrease the quality. So, I promised myself upon coming on stage that I would not talk about the coronavirus, mainly because everyone is doing it within uh, the stand-up uh, comedy community. It is spreading like some kind of disease, like a bacteria or a fire, something that spreads. But I try, trying not to write about the coronavirus, I came up with that first joke, which none of you liked. And I think the reason for that is that it's so incredibly hard to relate or even care about anything that isn't COVID nowadays. Uh, I know that uh, I myself have no memory of a previous time. The <laughs> mere idea that there was a previous time is outlandish. There's a BC before coronavirus and an AC after Christ. Coronavirus, same thing. <laughs> but the idea that at one point in our lives we would open doors, touching the handles with our hands, carefree and insouciant, it is so incredibly strange. But the, 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 the lockdown happened, we have to make uh, something of it to interpret it. And it wasn't all bad, I think. Uh, I myself was able to get in touch with my, with my depression and my despair. Uh, I did manage, though, to attain a sense of communion with nature, with bloody stupid human nature, and realize that we all partake of it. Uh, you probably you all, look, you all look like sophisticated people. You probably didn't stop by toilet paper, but you did buy two, didn't you? <laughs> just to make sure. And that is just uh, the way things are. In, in the end, we are just like everyone else. Uh, a lot of people focused on quiet reflection during the quarantine. I did screaming reflection. It is important to have a routine, to go outside for 10 minutes to scream at the heavens saying, stop it. Uh, but uh, just like we saw uh, nature heal during the quarantine, we are now seeing human nature heal. Uh, in the river hill, we can see the Batonouche once again. I thought they had gone extinct. Uh, and yesterday I saw the most marvelous spectacle. It was a young family of disposable face masks <laughs> swimming in the river in grace and beauty. It was so incredibly moving. Uh, we, it will take a while before we can uh, heal completely. Uh, you might notice that the American accent is completely extinguished in the streets of Strasbourg. Uh, when it first happened, we thought it was a sort of a call on an invasive species of frog, that they were bad for the environment. But apparently, no, they are very important. Americans tip 15%, even though they don't know maths. And <laughs> much more importantly, they eat all of the mosquitoes. <laughs> but what I mainly did during the quarantine was uh, keep track of the madness of people around me. And I noticed a very specific gender divide. Men, when they go mad, they grow a beard. Women, they shave their heads. Uh, I, kept, I kept a tally of the number of people who did that, and it was really quite outlandish. But my main hobby during the quarantine, it was uh, I learned how to dance. Before the lockdown, uh, I did white night dancing. When it's, that is when you uh, move your head upbeat to the music, try not to spill your beer like this. <laughs> now what I can do still white night dancing, but a culturally appropriated, gentrified style of white night dancing. I learned how to do the Charleston. So for my last minute, I would like to give you a one minute dem demonstration of that. Yeah. Well, If you do it off time, it will mess me up, so don't. <laughs> <laughs> That is all for me, thank you. <laughs>